Hi everyone. Right, I hope I'm not too close to the camera because I'm having to sit it more or less in front of me. But I did say I was going to do a carousel. Now I know I've got the fairy bed to finish. Well, I'm just waiting for something to come in to finish that. Uh, I did get the six horses that I needed and they were bought all from the same person on auction. And as you can see, I've started uh, to work out how I'm going to do it. And it's going to be quite, it is quite a big carousel obviously i've marked them all off and they will be glued up to there because they're never actually on the ground they're always off the ground um i'm not sure if i need to paint the horses or just put the saddles on put the bridles on and everything and see how we get on from there i'll see not sure how i'm going to do this now but what i'm going to show you now is uh, Right, I've got a little turntable here to pop it onto, which is one of my cake ones, actually. So I'm just going to sit this on it. Let me just... So I can turn it round to show you. Right, so, see? <coughs> um, underneath, this is an uh, antique wooden spool from a factory. And I had lots of them at one point and we sold them, we've made things from them and whatnot. So I thought that would be ideal. I've saved this particular one to do this. And I've had it a couple of years because I want to be able to, um, I think it's going to be high enough with the horses up as well. The decorations on, it's going to look fab. So I've cut two one inch circles from the foam that I got the other day. I've kind of measured it in the middle we will have to move it about and glue it in and when it's ready i've put the horses on we drilled the holes in the bodies and we've put the horses on and then added the lid which goes like that but i have to make sure that it's completely um you know level if you know what i mean at every angle and it's really difficult to get that might have to move things about a bit because the top might need moving slightly. But I will sort all that out. So, um, I'm now going to dismantle it and start decorating it. And I, I'm going to be putting it on a plinth of some sort. So it is lifted off. Because I think what I'm going to do... I don't know. I might... I've got some fencing here. I've got this mould, which I'm going to be doing some decorations around. Um, it's going to be a Victorian-ish. But what I had was this kind of fencing to go around. Now, if they were lifted up, that would it go on there? It would, actually. Like a fencing. I'm not sure. Might not use it. Might use it. But I've also got that bit as a gate. Which I can cut down and redo. Because I've made that gate. <coughs> so we're just going to take this off. Let's take all. I'm just. It, they're easy to do. I'm using skewers. Now I'm going to be able to get this. Where you can actually see. Most of it. Hopefully. I can move this back a little bit and move that up there like that. So we've got these <laughs> with the horses on, which we're going to take off now. I'm really, really not sure what to do with the horses, but I'm going to look online and see, um, you know, See, I'm going to look and see what I can do with them because I would like to paint them and then decorate them, put false saddles on them and whatnot. I would like to, but I'm not saying I'm going to definitely do it. So we've now got that off. See, it's a real, the heavy. This will be for sale. So if you're interested, I, it's not going to be cheap. I'll tell you that now because these alone, I think I paid £15 because they're classed as antique ones. Uh, they were years old and the woman was selling them on auction. So they were 15 on their own just for six horses. So it's not going to be cheap, cheap. Uh, but I'll 
keep the cost down as best I can. And these alone were £5 each. So I'm going to have to, with this particular project, charge at least get back what I've laid out. Anyway, so we've got the disc. And now what I've got to do, I'm just going to move that out of the way because what I've got to do now is... somehow shape this off properly so I need to get rid I'm not sure if I can do this I didn't have anything um although actually I don't need to do that sorry I hope my voice is you'll have to turn it down if I'm too loud but I've got it right next to my mouth so I, I did pre um I did do the circles on here. It wasn't big enough for me to do two, but I won't waste it because I just chop that off and we'll see what we can come up with. One to go on the top and the bottom and uh, one for the main bit at the top. That's for the top one. So let's let's get these cut first. Now we'll use that one for it. I knew I'd cut one somewhere. Just going to get these cut ready. Now, like I said yesterday, if you don't have any corrugated card, cereal boxes will do, uh, packing boxes will do. They're cheap enough to buy online. But um, if you buy it in flat sheets like this, it is expensive. It, it's crazy, but I didn't want all the surplus that I'd have if I bought them in, in the uh, boxes, you know, the, to make up boxes. So I just got the flat sheets and it, um, it did cost more, but hey... We have to now take all in, well, you have to take everything into consideration when you're pricing up what you're selling. But hey, so what I'm going to do is to sandwich those in between each other. And then I can trim off any excess. And then what I have to do then is to, yeah, join those together. Hmm. Okie dokie. like that and then all the excess I'm just gonna see if it works I think it will put your heat gun on see and you're melting it in You're melting it back 
Right, I just want it so that that's firm like that, you see, not for any other reason. So I can go in a little bit with it. Little tip for you. Now you can use this for brickwork, stonework as well. See the effect you get? And it was, I found this out quite by accident many years ago. Yeah. Anyway, you think you might have a little bit of a problem. And then what I'm going to do is I've got some card like this take my ruler and my knife and we're just going to do the width of the ruler oh, it should be fine and I'm going to do I'm going to do four of these I'm just using a bit of scrap off the back of a book I had that I've now finished with a paint book because I didn't want to keep ruining my boards. Oh, come on. So we'll just leave that there. And I'm just going to join these. I think I need to fix my glue gun. Right. It's only a warning to you. You know, I do try and help you all the time. But they said it's going to be rare, um, less and less often that we'll be able to buy things in from there and we need to find suppliers here then that are cheap enough for you lot to shop otherwise it's going to start costing a lot of money for you to craft a lot more than it does today right don't matter if you get glue on it or anything it's all going to be painted anyway like that so let's have a go and see if we can do this should be able to so I'm now going to try and just glue this on. Just move it off and then get rid of all the rubbish. Comes off your mat. This is a baking sheet, not a craft sheet. Look under the baking section on the, well, where, pound shop or whatever. Go for the baking sheets and they're just as good. See? So we've got that. And then all I have to do is to go around this edge. I'm not... I don't have to seal this one, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. You can if you want. I'm not going to. I'm 
and you'll see why. Right, so let's just move that out the way and that. And I need another sheet. So we need, again, two and a half. Well, we'll do three more strips. Just take your time with something like this. Think about what you're doing, but don't overthink it. Um, if you make a mistake, correct it any way you want. You can always dismantle something and start it again. Never panic when you're make, if you make a mistake or it's not quite gone how you want. Uh, try it again. Do something different. Change it. Alter it. There's no right and wrong way to craft. None whatsoever. Don't let anybody else tell you different. The old scholars would be saying, do this, do that, do this. And it's a bull. Baloney. Sorry, old scholars. But I was an old student. <laughs> right, okay. So what I'm going to do, I do need to put three of these together. So I'm going to take the original one. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. Neither here nor there. Make sure you leave enough space to do what you're doing. And you just snip it to the line. I didn't have to do it in one full piece, but I, that's just me. Like that. See? Perfectly safe. And uh, I'm not going to be doing it on the bottom section because I've already glued that one in. So when I've covered it with what I'm going to cover it with, it'll be fine. But that's what's going to hold the whole thing together, you see. And then we're going to cover this. And I might do it that way anyway. So we have to do another one of those. And I'll be back when that's done. Sorry, I just wanted to share with you, because I'm going to be putting these um, sticks back through, what I'm going to do, <laughs> I put a little dab of glue on there, and I'm going to just pop that on, a little dab of glue on this side, but because the holes went all the way through, 
glossy like that. Um, I have to have that for the exact middle. Is that the exact middle? Yep, yeah, roughly. So you can do that. And then just poke a hole in. So I know exactly where to put the horses. And I might have to just put a little stick in. Yeah, done it. See? So we've got that. Just a little tip. Sorry about that. Uh, the other thing is, we need to measure this one as well. So I'm going to put that one back on there. Which we have to remember. Well, I'll do it when I've got it sealed in. Let me just seal this in. Okay, we're just going to put that on. Hopefully, we find a, that's it like that to get that on right. Right, I've also, um, with the second piece, I'm actually doing it with these um, smaller strips because I had some spare and I wasn't going to waste them. So I'm just trimming them. It's a lot easier actually to use smaller sections than to mess about. And then just glue that. Pop them on, overlap the last one, like that. Oops, nearly didn't do it. Take that, fold that in there, just goes on the end of that. That's fine by me, I'm not fussed. And we can lift them all up. Like that. Now, hmm, it's going to cover the holes up, but we can put them through again, it doesn't matter. They were the last ones in the thing, look like that. But hey, I'm happy with that. That's fine by me. We just get blathered in glue. No, they're fine. So I'm just going to see if I can poke this back. In fact, if I'll use my spike 
so it'll be a lot easier. I can just see where the holes are. So we've got them done, we now need to do the same with that one, yeah, that's going to be the top, that's going to be underneath, so that needs to go with that, and I need to put this spike back in, and again I'm going to use my metal spike. If you get glue on it, or anything like I have, take your heat gun, heat it up a little bit, wipe it off, there you go. I think it's going to look quite good that and now it's this um, that has to be glued on and then I'm going to deck then I've got to cover this with paper tissue of some sort so um, I'm going to glue that one on now yeah that's the underneath and that's the top isn't it yeah so, what I have to do, I'm going to take another one of these. Oh, they're all cut ready. Oh, not them. Come here. Take another one of these. I need that in the middle. Which is going to guide me to make sure I get this right, I think. We need it as near as damn it. Okay, hang on, I need a different pole, that's too, too big, uh, oh here's one, I've got one, hang on, I've got one, that should fit, yeah, that's it, and that should give me the middle, just checking, looks about right, Hopefully, there, I think. Sorry, I'm going to look at it like this. Yeah, that's about right, right there. That should roll evenly, near enough, isn't it? Right, okay, now I'm going to keep that in because it's stuck, which will help support it and keep it all together. Now I'm not going to keep that on, I've just thought of it, that's going to help support what I need. Right, so before I 
finish this for part one and we're going to put the roof on it. <laughs> Which means I need a dome and then we need the band going around. So, I actually need a bigger piece. So I'm going to have to put two of these together, I think. Now I will have to cut this down, but I just need it this size to get the dome. We think. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is two. Cut that down the middle and we're going to take a piece out um, an eighth of what there is just take that out I haven't thrown it away it's uh, dropped on the floor but I will pick it up where's my project Right, now I need this to fit that. Oops. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Whoops, and easy. I think that's going to... Oh, it's gone off. We're going to guess it. I just think that's going to be that. I don't think we're going to need any more. I think that'll be it. Like that. Now I have to fit that on. Which, it's going to go like that. Yep, and then I will trim it off. I'm going to very carefully trim that off. Wow. 
So we trim around the edge. Anything that's loose we can stick down, that's not a problem. And it's all going to get covered in paper, tissue. if you can see it we'll move it back a bit look perfect and we can cover all of that now I just need to trim it off nope that's great quite happy with that let me just see if there's any more edges no not really isn't that brill? Yeah, no, I'm quite happy with that. So there's our stand. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that, actually. I'm thrilled. Bloody thrilled. Yeah, and um, our holes probably don't match up to the foot. I never thought about that. I can take that off and move them around, can't I? Yeah, that's fine. Because they will go in there. Hang on, they have to go in there first, like that. And we get the horse on. Wait a minute. How did I work that out? These have to be cut down, don't they? Because that's that. They're way too big. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So. you have just got to be able to do this. And put that horse there. No, it's fine. I got it right. <laughs> and then that horse will be glued onto there. Brill. Brilliant. Thrilled with that. I'll be back in part two. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Please, if you can, please drop by the store um, because your support does help keep, the, keep these going. And, um, and it's how I earn my living. <laughs> so every little bit that I've got, you know, I can't keep hold of stock. It has to go. I did, I did put a few sales on the other day and I'm going to do some more later on. And plus, we've got the bits of my own personal stuff that I'm going to go through and it'll just be sold in random bags. So, um, yeah. Stay tuned. Bye-bye for now.